We're gonna start by performing initial steps. You wanna make sure that the bed is locked and that you bring the bed up to working height, which is gonna be waist level. You want to provide for privacy, so you'll make sure that the resident is draped and curtains, um, doors, and drapes are closed. And then you're gonna offer the resident the bed pan or urinal before we get started. So then we're gonna take the wash basin, we're gonna fill it halfway up with warm water, and we're gonna ask the resident to check the temperature of the water. Once we know that the temperature is okay, we're gonna start by washing the resident's face, ears, and behind the ears. So you're gonna offer the resident to be able to wash their own face. If they need assistance, you're gonna help them. So we're gonna start by washing the eyes, starting with the inner eye, and using different parts of the washcloth, we're gonna wash the other eye. Once we wash the eye, if the resident wishes, then we can add some soap onto the towel and wash the rest of their face and their ears and behind the ears with a soapy wash rag. So we're gonna wash the remainder of their face, their ears, behind their ears. So you're gonna wash, rinse, and if necessary, you can take a clean, dry face cloth and pat dry. Okay. Then you're going to remove the resident's gown. Keep it in mind to keep the resident draped and covered at all times. If the resident has an affected side when you are removing the gown, then you always want to undress the unaffected side first, okay? So we're going to say that the resident, in this case, is going to be affected on her right side. So we always want to start with undressing the unaffected side first. So Ms. Smith, I'm gonna go ahead and undress your left arm first. Keep in mind that you wanna keep the resident draped and covered at all times. We only expose body parts that's necessary to complete the procedure. So once you have the gown off, you're gonna cover the resident up here and you're going to roll the dirty gown inside out and place it into the dirty linen basket at the foot of the bed. Then we're gonna start with washing the resident's arms. We're gonna take our clean towel and we're going to undrape the resident's arm that's furthest from you first. And we're gonna lift the arm and you're gonna place your clean towel long ways underneath the resident's arm. You're gonna get your soapy wash rag and you're going to wash and rinse the resident's arm, underarms, down to the hands and fingers. So you're gonna wash, rinse, and then you're gonna use your towel to pat dry. Then you're gonna repeat the procedure on the arm that's closest to you. So, you're gonna complete the same procedure on this arm, making sure that you wash and rinse the entire arm, the hands and the fingers, pat dry. This towel is still considered dirt, uh, clean, so we're gonna place it here on the clean surface. Then we're going to wash the chest and the abdomen. Remembering that we have to keep the resident draped at all times, so we're gonna take our clean towel and we're gonna place it over the resident's chest and abdomen then we're gonna come underneath the clean towel and we're going to bring the sheet down to the resident's waist, keeping them draped, only exposing body parts necessary. And you can always ask the resident to assist as able. Then we're gonna take our towel, we're gonna to add soap, and then we're gonna go underneath our big towel and we're gonna wash the resident's chest underneath any breast tissue or tissue folds and the abdomen and then we're gonna rinse in the same way. And then we're gonna pat dry using our towel. And then we're going to cover the resident back up and remove our towel. Then we're gonna move down to the lower extremities. Again, just like with the arm, the same thing with the leg, we're gonna start with the leg that's furthest away from us. And we're gonna undrape just that leg. And of course you would remove your non-skid socks or shoes as well so that you can cleanse the resident's feet and toes. So you're gonna place the towel long way. You're gonna take your face towel and you're gonna wash the entire leg, thigh, foot and toes. You're gonna wash and rinse and then you're gonna pat dry. 
When you pat dry, you really wanna make sure that you pat dry really good in between the toes as well. Lift up the calf and cover the leg back up. And then you're gonna repeat the procedure on the leg that's closest to you. Once you have completed washing the lower extremities, now you are prepared to start perennial care. Okay, so now we're getting ready to do catheter care. So after we have washed, rinsed, and pat dried the legs and the feet, we want to remove our gloves, wash our hands, put on new gloves. You have to change your water, you have to change your towels. So once we've done that, we have prepared the patient or the resident by having them spread their legs and bend their knees. To perform catheter care, you're gonna take a clean washcloth and you are going to place it right at the uh, point of the catheter where the catheter is entering out of the resident's urethra. Then you're going to take the catheter tubing, so this is your catheter tubing, and it's coming out of your resident. You're literally gonna stabilize the catheter by holding it, and you're going to wipe four inches from the meatus. A meatus means an opening. So you just wipe four inches from the meatus until any debris or residue has been washed off. Now we're going to, we're ready to perform perennial care. So for your male or female client or resident, you wanna make sure that they are draped and you simply are going to go underneath the drape in order to cleanse the resident, male or female. So you do that whether it's a male or female, keeping in mind that you want to maintain the resident's dignity by keeping them draped at all times. So for our female resident, we are going to take our washcloth we're gonna put soap onto our washcloth. We're going to go underneath the resident's towel, um, excuse me, underneath the resident's drape. And you always want to start by washing the labia first, and you wanna wash on the outside of the labia, and then on both sides using different parts of your washcloth. Once you've done that, this towel is now considered dirty, and we can place it onto a dirty surface or into our dirty linen basket. Then for the female resident, we have to remove our gloves, wash our hands, put on new gloves, and change our water. Once we've done that, then we're gonna get a clean towel and we're going to rinse in the same way that we wash. So we're gonna rinse and pat dry. Then once we've done that, we're going to put our towels into a dirty surface or into the dirty linen basket, remove our gloves, wash our hands, um, and then change our water. For the male resident, we are going to come underneath our drape and we're gonna pull back the foreskin for a resident who is uncircumcised. And then we're going to start by cleaning at the tip of the penis and working down the shaft, down to the testicles and the inner thighs of your male resident. For the male resident, the biggest difference is you do not have to change your gloves or change your water in between washing and rinsing. So for your male resident, you're going to wash, rinse, and pat dry using the same gloves, the same water, the same towels. Once you're done with your male resident washing, rinsing, and pat drying, then we're going to discard of our dirty towels. We're gonna to remove our gloves, wash our hands, and then we're gonna get clean towels. So once you've completed perennial care and you have put on, you've washed your hands, you've put on clean gloves, you've changed all your towels, you have changed your bath water, now we're ready to turn the resident into lateral position so that we can wash the backside. So Ms. Smith, we're gonna get ready to turn you onto your right side and make sure that the side rail is raised on the side that you're turning the resident towards and you always turn the resident away from you. So we're gonna bend the knee of the leg closest to us and on the count of three, Ms. Smith, we're gonna turn into your right side. One, two, three. So you always wanna keep the resident draped so that you're only exposing body parts necessary to complete your procedure. Then you're gonna take your soapy wash rag and you're gonna come underneath your drape and you're going to wash the buttocks, starting uh, wiping from front to back. So you're gonna wash and rinse the buttocks from front to back. So I'm gonna wash and rinse. And then I'm gonna pat dry. And then I'm going to remove my gloves, wash my hands, put on new gloves, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna change my water and change my towels. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to get another soapy rag and I'm gonna wash the back from the neck down to the buttocks. 
So I'm gonna wash, rinse, and pat dry the back. So I've washed and rinsed. And then I'm gonna take my towel, and then I'm gonna pat dry. Then we're gonna go ahead and move the resident back into supine position. Just because on the counter three, we're gonna come back onto your back. One, two, three. Okay, then I'm going to remove my gloves, wash my hands, and put on new gloves. Then I'm going to take my clean gown, and keep in mind that the resident does have an affected side. We say that the resident is affected on the right side. So when we're dressing the resident with the clean gown, we always dress the affected side first, making sure to keep the resident covered. So I'm going to unfold my clean gown over the top sheet so I can keep my resident covered. I'm going to dress the affected side first, which is the right arm. And I'm going to dress the unaffected side, which is the left arm. Then I'm going to tie the gown in the back. Then you can pull out your top sheet from underneath the gown and place it back over the resident. Then, once you're all done, you're going to raise this side rail on the side that you're working on. You're going to lower the bed down to the lowest position and then lower that side rail once the bed is in the lowest position. Then you're going to remove your gloves and wash your hands. You're going to take your dirty linen basket and discard of it outside of the room. And you want to notify the nurse of any redness, bruising, or abrasions.